Hello everyone. Welcome to JXJ Academy. Today in this video we will discuss about GPWS Ground Proximity Warning System. The aim of GPWS is to give visual and audible warning signals to a pilot when the aircraft's terrain, proximity terrain. to the terrain poses a potential threat to its safety. Although not a foolproof means of preventing a collision with the Earth's surface, GPWS enhances flight safety and can prevent those accidents which could result from crew errors or distraction, malfunction or misinterpretation of navigational equipment or inappropriate ATC instructions. GPWS has three elements in it. Those are inputs, central processing unit, and output. The central processing unit will also indicate a computer failure and any failures of the six input signals. The system operates between 50 feet and 2,450 feet actual height above the surface and automatically selects the correct mode of operation. Several modes are included in a basic GPWS system. We will discussion about mode 1 now. Mode 1 has two boundaries and is independent of aircraft configuration. Penetration of the first boundary generates an oral alert of sink rate repeated each 1.5 seconds. Penetrating the second boundary causes the repeated warning of whoop whoop pull up until the rate of descent has been corrected. Mode 2 monitors Mach number, radio altitude rate of change, barometric altitude, and aircraft configuration. Mode 2 has two boundaries. Penetrating the first boundary causes an oral alert. Terrain, terrain, pull up, pull up. After leaving the pull-up area, the repeating terrain message will again be heard while in the terrain portion of the envelope. If both boundaries are penetrated while in the landing configuration, only the repeating terrain oral alert will occur. The terrain message is repeated each 1.5 seconds. Mode 3 provides an alert if a descent is made during initial climb or go around. The oral alert is a voice message of, Don't sink. Repeated each 1.5 seconds until the flight condition is corrected. Mode 3 is effective between 50 and 700 feet radio altitude and generates the alert when the accumulated barometric loss equals approximately 10% of the existing barometric altitude. Mode 3 does not arm during the descent until below 200 feet radio altitude. The terrain clearance mode, with gear retracted, is armed after takeoff upon climbing through 700 feet radio altitude. When this envelope is penetrated at less than Mach 0.35, the oral alert, too low gear, is sounded. When the envelope is penetrated at more than Mach 0.35, the oral alert, too low terrain, is sounded and the upper boundary of the envelope is increased to 1,000 feet radio altitude. The applicable voice message is repeated each 1.5 seconds until the flight condition has been corrected. Mode 4 Bravo mode provides an alert when the gear is down and the flaps are not in the landing position. If the envelope is penetrated at less than Mach 0.28 with the flaps not in the landing position, the oral alert of too low flaps is sounded. When the envelope is penetrated at more than Mach 0.28, the oral alert of too low terrain is sounded and the upper boundary of the envelope is increased to 1,000 feet radio altitude. The applicable voice message is repeated each 1.5 seconds until the flight condition has been corrected. The too low gear alert takes priority over the too low flaps. Mode 5 alerts the flight crew of a descent of more than 1.3 dots below an ILS glide slope. The envelope has two areas of alerting, soft and hard. In the soft area the alert is a reduced volume voice message of glide slope. In the hard area, approximately two dots below the glide slope a full volume glide slope glide slope occurs. The mode is armed when a valid signal is being received by the glide slope receiver. Gear is down and the radio altitude is 1000 feet or less. The mode may be cancelled by pressing either pilots below glide light while below 1000 feet radio altitude. Mode 6 Alpha provides an oral alert if a descent is made below the minimum decision altitude cursor in the radio altimeter. This mode operates between 50 and 1000 feet of radio altitude. 
This alert is oral only and consists of minimums, minimums sounded once. The mode is re-armed when the radio altitude becomes greater than that selected with the altitude cursor. Mode 6 Bravo gives call-outs of selected altitudes and minimums. The call-outs used are a customer option but for example may consist of calls at 200 feet and 100 feet to decision height, or absolute height call-outs from the radio altimeter with respect to the ground. Bank angle can be used to alert crews of excessive roll angles. The bank angles are not an aircraft maneuver limit, but rather a limitation decided upon by the airline. However, the limit reduces with proximity to the ground due to the reduced wing tip clearance to prevent wing tip or engine damage during takeoff and landing. Visual and oral wind shear warnings are given when several parameters such as ground speed, airspeed, barometric height and rate of descent and radio altitude, indicate the initial conditions of entering an area of wind shear. Again as with the terrain threat display there is no scanning beam looking ahead to avoid the condition entirely. Rather the benefit from the system is derived from the fact that it allows the pilot to initiate the wind shear go-around procedure earlier, giving the aircraft a greater probability of avoiding an accident. Mode 7 warnings take priority over all other modes. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos.